Misinformation is all over the internet when it comes to coronavirus, especially this week with that new group of doctors um, getting millions of views on the video that Breitbart put on Facebook. And look, the sum total of things like that and the pandemic video and the misinformation on Fox News has left a lot of Americans believing absurd things about coronavirus. Let's talk about one in particular, some polling. Was coronavirus planned by the government? That somebody, we don't know exactly who, but somebody planned for this pandemic and unleashed it on us. Well, 5% of all Americans believe that that is definitely true. One out of five Americans believes that it's probably true that the government planned this pandemic. That's 25% of the American public. One in four believe it's either definitely or probably true. Only 36% say it's probably not true or definitely not true. A lot of Americans just don't really have a position on that. That is one in four Americans believe that no, it was planned. It was planned. We've got, we're going to break this down along a few other different demographic axes, but what do you think, Jordan? Uh, it's alarming, and it shows kind of how um, people getting their news from social media and the lack of kind of moderation and, and content curation on these platforms leads to this kind of kind of stuff. People just want to believe this because it helps explain something that's so grandiose and so um, existential that you know, it helps them make sense of something that is otherwise incomprehensible. Mm -hmm. and that's sad because the end result is distrust and skepticism toward, and as it, yeah, as it manifests, it's distrust and skepticism toward health professionals. Um, they think that they're out to get them. There's distrust of doctors. And the end result is this is prolonged. It impacts people and the health consequences we talked about in the earlier segment, more of that, more death, more illness, more job loss, more homelessness absolutely terrible but un I, I can't help but again reiterate that huge tech giants and social media platforms that are knowingly allowing this content to spread is so reckless yeah. they know they know what's on there if they know what spreads in facebook groups and facebook just is taking a hands-off approach because they don't want to be like the arbiter uh of of you know truth and, and information but like that's your responsibility you're one of the biggest companies in the world and people get their news from you. You have to do that. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And look, um, Facebook eventually took down that video, but it already accrued more than 10 million views. And they said today, you know, ah, sorry, it took a while. There was like this thing that happened that made it take longer. <laughs> was there? Was there? As it got millions of views? How many videos get millions of views every day? You didn't notice that? Um, so they took it down, but they also left it up for a while. And um, one theory as to why it was left up for so long was because it was being spread by Breitbart, a group that has been whitelisted by Facebook as a purveyor of accurate news. They have done this multiple times. So here's the thing. That, that information was, according to Facebook, was both false and dangerous. Um, it could lead to people getting sick and dying. So if Breitbart is spreading that, are they you know, an accurate source for news. Are you just going to take down this one video or are you going to view Breitbart in a different way? Perhaps have a little bit more um, oversight of future videos that they put up to try to mislead people about this pandemic. Unfortunately, we know what Facebook is. We know who Zuckerberg is and we know that that's never going to happen. He believes Breitbart's more reputable than the New York Times plus the Washington Post plus whatever you want. Um, and that means that you had pandemic and then you had this which is even bigger, and God only knows what's going to come next after, you know, 200,000, 250,000 people have died. They'll come up with some new thing about how it's secretly frogs that spread, are spreading the coronavirus, and you only have to consume a frog, and then you'll be okay. I don't know. It's, it's hard to predict. It's hard to get ahead of how crazy people are. By the way, yeah. on this, a few more numbers on how it breaks down that people think that this is centrally planned. Interestingly, and I would not have predicted this, women are more likely to believe. 29% of women believe it was planned by powerful people. 21% of men. Shocked by that. In terms of age, younger people more likely than older people to believe it. Even though, in my experience, older people believe whatever crazy thing you tell them on Facebook. No, no hate for the older. It's just generally I've seen that. What's interesting to me, too, is when you break it down by party, 18% of Democrats are those who lead Dem leading Democrat believe that it was uh, centrally planned, 18%. For Republicans, it's 34%. So they're twice as likely to believe that this was centrally planned, despite the fact that their people are in charge of government. I have to assume when they answer this, they mean the Chinese. If I had to guess, yeah. that's what it would be. Yeah. Maybe the deep state. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of also why 
we've seen kind of a, like a reluctance from uh, p- even the media entities like Sinclair that was considering running that pandemic uh, hoax video. Like it's just like part of a larger like American capitalist scheme to undermine the Chinese government. So that fits their narrative, even if the, the consequences are, you know, Americans putting their own lives and others around them at risk. The end goal, the end objective is that, that you know, like the conclusion that you pointed out, people would take that away as saying China did all this to to hurt us. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's kind of a xenophobic and anti-China uh, objective. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fascinating since Trump got elected that like this movement, which has been obviously is government is the most evil thing imaginable. Government is the source of all of your problems. And then all of a sudden, hey, we control all of government. And I and I wondered as they were making that transition, like, well, then how, man, they're really going to have to change how they view this and how they talk about this. But they haven't. They've just invented other layers of government to hate. It's not the, the government we see. It's the the deep one below it. That's actually what has all of the power. It's It's great that you can be complete insiders and still present yourself as total outsiders as you control every branch of government effectively. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.